Hello everyone! In this video, I'm showing you how to make working doll school supplies. To make them, you will need an X-Acto knife and a paper cutter, which is optional but helpful, some paper, some clear tape, duct tape, glue, chalkboard paint, a pair of scissors, something to write with, a ruler, and a paintbrush, some thicker paper like cardstock, sticky notepad, fabric, felt, mechanical pencils, a Ziploc bag, an eraser, and a stapler. Let's start by making some working tiny little pencils. Start by pressing on your mechanical pencil until a lot of lead comes out. Just like this. You have to push quite a few times. I made mine about an inch long, and then I braced it very well with my fingers and broke it off. Next, I took my little piece of lead and some tape and just put it on top of the lead, making sure that a little bit was sticking out the top. Then I cut off the extra tape on the bottom and also on the short side. Also, I would like to apologize for my really hideous nails. Um, I, when I was filming this, I didn't realize that they were really bad until um, about halfway through, and then I figured, well, I can't really change them now. I could, but the first half would already have them. So I just decided to just leave them there, and they are really not nice, but yeah. So this is what they look like when they're done and they actually work. Next, I'm going to make a really quick eraser. All of these things are really quick and really easy to make. I think the hardest one is the pencil case at the end. So to make an eraser, I just cut out a small square of an actual eraser. I used an X-Acto knife for this. Then I cut the end at an angle, both of them going opposite directions. Because it was too wide, I decided to cut mine in half. And mine is pretty messy, but if you made them a bit bigger, they could be probably better. This is what they look like. And then they actually work. Next, I took some thicker paper and uh, covered it in clear tape. Just like this. Made sure there was no air bubbles, and uh, then I flipped it around and cut off the corners at an angle. Then I folded the tape over to the back side of the paper, and that is how you can make a working whiteboard. And then to make an eraser for the whiteboard, you can just cut the end off a popsicle stick, and I cut mine to be about an inch long. Um, then I used some glue, and I glued on a small piece of black felt. And as you can see, if you use a whiteboard marker, you can write on your little whiteboard and the eraser actually works to remove it. Another thing you can do is take some chalkboard paint and your thick paper again and then paint on the chalkboard paint. Um, I did three coats. Just follow the instructions on the chalkboard paint, and unfortunately I can't show you how it works because I realized after that I didn't have any chalk, but you just can write on it like a regular chalkboard. Next, to make a ruler, I took an actual ruler and a popsicle stick and measured out centimeters all the way along. Then I labeled them, and I went all the way to six. Now, 
when you use the ruler, you can actually measure something in centimeters. It can even have a straight edge, like this. Next, to make some sticky notes, I took a sticky note and I cut the top sticky part off. And then I stacked them together, lining up the sticky side. Then I cut it even, and as you can see, they actually work. You can just pull them off and stick them to something. And then when you're done with them, you can take them off and stick them back on the pad if you want to. So they are definitely reusable. Next, I took some little squares of paper and stacked them together. Then I held them there with the end of a pen because I couldn't find a paper clip, but you can use whatever you want to hold them there. <laughs> I just had this pen and it actually kind of worked. Um, then I took some glue and put it along the back of the paper. Then when it was done, I had a fully functioning notepad, but they're really neat because it's a mini notepad. Next, I made a notebook by cutting some bigger pieces of paper and I stacked them together. And I stapled them there. Just like this. And then what I did was take a thicker piece of paper, but you could use some thin cardboard or something. Then I folded it in half after marking how long I needed it, and then cut it just like this. Then I took some duct tape and just covered it in duct tape, but you could paint it or cover it in another type of paper or whatever you want. And then I cut off the corners and folded it in. Once that was done, I took some glue and put it along the spine of the pages and then glued that to the middle of the notebook cover. I just stuck it there and folded it in half. Then I used some small elastics to hold it in place while it dries. But you could use um, paper clips again or something like that if you wanted to. Now for uh, the pencil case, which is the hardest one. I took a Ziploc bag and I cut a portion of the top off, the uh, part that seals. And I just left a little bit at the bottom. Just like that. I cut off a little bit more at the top too. Then I took some fabric and lined it up and then took some duct tape and taped it on. If you're going to use glue for this, just don't use hot glue because that will melt the plastic and everything will kind of like get out of shape and stuff. So um, just use tape or another type of glue that's not going to melt the plastic. So now I did the other side the same way. I just used the tape. And then I folded it in half and stuck the sticky ziplock clingy portion, whatever, together, and I cut off the excess. Then I used some more tape to close up the sides. And 
and there you go. It's that easy, it's the hardest one, but it's pretty easy. And then you can just open it up at the top and put whatever you'd like in it. You can make it bigger or smaller, however you'd like. And you could even paint the Ziploc bag if you wanted the top to be a different color. So thank you so much for watching and if you have any ideas for future videos, please feel free to leave a comment. I always need ideas and I will see you in the next video. Bye!